What's up everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Today I'd like to share with you three timekeeping ideas by the great Philly Joe Jones. Today we're not really doing anything flashy, but like I said, we're just talking about keeping time with just some different textures that you might not have thought about before. You'll hear a lot of this stuff on anything that Philly Joe did with Miles' first great quintet, so those last four prestige records, working, cooking, steaming, and relaxing, as well as milestones, and uh, anything that he did with that rhythm section of Paul Chambers and Red Garland, so some of the Red Garland trio stuff. Uh, and you'll also hear it on John Coltrane's Blue Train. So there's plenty of places where you can check this stuff out. Um, some of it isn't necessarily exclusive to Philly Joe, but it's some things that he does a lot and that I've always kind of associated with him. So let's dive right in. The first one is just to feather the snare drum. We hear so much about feathering the bass drum and we spend so much time working on that. And it is a really great way to kind of um, emphasize that quarter note. But we can do that same thing with our snare drum especially when you maybe get to a lighter section, maybe a piano solo where you might be tempted to come down here to the cross stick. Think about just playing those quarter notes really, really light on the snare drum, something like this. You can either do it like I just did even on all four quarter notes, or you can also add a little bit more weight to kind of beats two and four. Nothing too big, not really an accent per se, but just slightly bigger. Or you can kind of play one and three back here nearer to the edge and two and four a little bit closer into the center like this. The next uh, timekeeping idea is to play time on your hi-hat. Now that may seem obvious, but for some reason the hi-hat just always seems to be associated with playing in two. But if you check out some of this Philly Joe stuff, a lot of time he'll be playing on the hi-hat while the bassist is walking and there's a lot of energy in the tune. Um, I find he does this a lot on the head of a chart, which is really nice if you have a kind of busy sort of frantic sounding, maybe like a bebop head. You can play time here on the hi-hat so that when you come over to the ride cymbal, it really opens things up in the solo section. So like I said, you might want to communicate with your bass player a little bit and say, you know, just because I'm on the hi-hat doesn't mean, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that you're going to play in two. It's, it's actually really, really nice to have that behind a walking bass line. It's almost like having a, a really, really heavy duty sizzle cymbal with a lot of cymbals in it. Something like this. See how it makes that nice transition and really opens everything up when you move over to the ride cymbal. And finally is this kind of double time hi-hat thing that Philly Joe does a lot. This is really a signature sound of his. Um, I've heard Max Roach do it as well a couple times and um, Art Blakey, but you'll hear Philly Joe do it a lot and I, I'm pretty sure it's kind of his invention, if you will. And basically what it is is that the hi-hat plays double time while everything else kind of stays in that walking tempo. So if you were at a kind of medium walk tempo, you'll hear him do this on Blue Train. You can add a little bit of extra energy by just making the hi-hat go double time. Now again, this is another one where you're gonna to wanna to communicate with your bass player, because a lot of times when I try to do this on a gig or at a jam session, the bass player hears that hi-hat go double time, and he or she immediately goes double time as well. But I think it's a much nicer effect if the bassist keeps walking. The ride cymbal is still kind of going at that medium walk, but the hi-hat is double time. So I'm gonna start in that kind of uh, just walking and then move the hi-hat to double time. The other thing that you can do to kind of strengthen this even more and even give it a little bit more bounce or a little bit more energy is to tap the snare drum, kind of feathering it again on uh, two and the and of two and four and the and of four. Not the double time two and four, but the single time two and four. So one, two, a uh, three, four, a uh, one. While that hi-hat is going double time.
So there you go, three different timekeeping ideas by Philly Joe that you can try out just to kind of give yourself a few different ideas and a few different textures when you're playing with some soloists. Uh, check out some of those records, like I said, the, uh, the, the late mile stuff on Prestige, also Milestones, Blue Train, some of the Red Garland trio stuff. You'll hear it a lot. Just check out a lot of Philly Joe and you'll hear all of those. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop me a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much.